everyone. This is the 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. We're down 28 in the Dow, 30,930, 30,940. Uh, struggling to break above the 14 period exponential moving average, but there's a chance by the end of the day, if we're up 40 or more points after about, I'd say maybe 2 o'clock, 2 to 2.30. Um, then we can have a decent close if we're down more than 40 points. It says, ah, we're just stuck for another day or two, just using up time rather than price at this particular point for the consolidation. S&P is pretty much the same thing, although the S&P chart pattern is just fractionally better than the Dow. It's down 3 at 3828. You want to really see it back. The high today was 3848. Probably above the, the high of 38.50 in the next day or two, we'll say, ah, now I can try to go for that high that was made about six sessions ago in the um, uh, 39.45 area. We'll see what happens. All right, next thing is we're looking at the QQQ. You know, the Qs have held very well. They're up 96%, 96 points. 0.96 at 287.92, but they have to break above this downtrend line. This Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. If they can even close, they, they can't just go there. They have to close above 290 in the next day or two. Ah, all of a sudden, 296 becomes a target. We're looking at the IWM. It's kind of lackluster right now, down two. We're also looking at gold, which really got smacked to the downs. Oh, it's even worse. Now it's down 23 at 1740, and that's really helping the gold. Sorry, gold is really helping. The dollar is the reason why the gold is pulling back, and the dollar is up 62 cents at 107.12 in leg D above the support level, makes 106 area, really important support level to hold in the shorter term. This is a really big breakout. If you look at the TLT, I want you to do that in my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour. I didn't get to it. It's down one at 115.72. I think it's in a buy mode. There should be a push towards 118, and then we might stall. This is a very important phase right at this particular moment. And if you're looking at crude oil, wow, I'm talking about an important moment. Look at that arch formation going back to the low of the, around about the 15th of May. And that was, and the continuous contract low was on the 11th of May at 93.21. Screams to 121.48. Where is it now? 96.11. It's getting close to absolutely important support. But in the rectangle formation in the weekly chart, this is what you expect from a cup formation that goes to just under the previous all time high. Some kind of a pullback. So have a wonderful day. Stay tuned for Larry Pizzaventa. Stay tuned for Think or Swim with uh, Think or Swim, Steve Rhodes, Dave White, and Tom O'Brien. Don't forget, Tommy O'Brien starts the day off at 9 o'clock with the market kickoff. Fabulous show. Fabulous way to start the day. <laughs> oh.